this is a note about Nietzsche's view on democracy and egalitarianism. Egalitarianism is the view that people are equal. The question we should ask is, who is afraid of the anti-egalitarians? In other words, how can we read Nietzsche backwards? Thesis 1. Nietzsche was anti-democratic and anti-egalitarian, and these were not minor aberrations in his thought, but deeply rooted and closely connected to his other beliefs. Thesis 2. Nietzsche was right that egalitarianism would entail a quote, limitless process of leveling, end quote. The egalitarian ideals of the French Revolution would have required the elimination of all substantive social advantages, generating equality beyond the mere formal conferral of rights, such as is prevalent under liberal political regimes. Today, nobody is seriously against equality. What we usually hear is that the disadvantaged should be brought up to the level of those of privilege. This is what we should think of as a process of leveling up. Thesis 3. Nietzsche was wrong in concluding that because of this leveling process, one should adopt a stance against egalitarianism. Thesis 4. In reading Nietzsche like a loser, that is, reading him like the audience that Nietzsche did not write for, it is possible to instead embrace the leveling process, but also to acknowledge that a process of leveling up is not and will never be sufficient. What is required is contra Nietzsche, a process of leveling down. As Malcolm Bull notes in his essay on anti-Nietzsche, we should welcome a regime in which each individual, without exclusion or exception, will have equal access to property but no property rights, either individual or collective, because property as such will not exist. Thesis 5. This is a notion we should refer to not as anti-egalitarianism, as Nietzsche would have it, but as extra-egalitarianism. This was a presentation from the Aragnes Center for Philosophy and the Arts. For more information about us, visit our website.